Hello everyone, today I have my empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. Thankfully I was able to get this recorded on Monday so I didn't have to wait two weeks. Um, yeah, my kids are still sleeping so I'm in the back room. I just figured I would try to get this done before they woke up today. Hopefully you guys are okay with this background. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just going to get into it. Um, I guess I'll start with the half empties because there's only a couple of those. So the first one here is from Empire Alchemy in the scent Blue Crush. This is Neroli, Sea Salt, Water Florals, Vodka, and Sea Kelp. I really like this scent. It's so nice and like fresh and clean and that vodka note gives it this like mineral kind of tone. It's really, really nice. Yeah, I really like it. Um, yeah, it's salty, but it's not like overly salty. I don't know. It's just a really nice scent for spring and summer. I'm going to try to finish up this bag this summer, and then I would probably repurchase this for next summer. It's just a really nice scent. I melted this in the kitchen and back here the other day and it did really well it's like a medium performer but I would say medium high in the tea light warmer and then medium in the bulb warmers but really really nice scent and the next one is from Rose Girls in Moon Mario on the line is that focusing I don't know um, and this is Fresh Laundry American Cream Lush Type Pink Sugar Zen and Clean Masculine. Um, so Moon Mario is the American Cream Pink Sugar Zen Clean Masculine and then Moon Mario on the line has the Fresh Laundry added. And I did really like this. Yeah, it smells really nice. I've had Moon Mario on its own too. I will say American Cream isn't like my favorite oil or scent note. It just, it comes across for me like a, like an unscented body cream. Let me know what you get from American Cream, but that's, I get like this unscented body lotion. And I can still get it here, but I'm definitely getting more pink sugar, definitely getting that laundry note. The Zen, I forget what is in Zen, but it's a really nice scent. And then that masculine note. Yeah, I get all of that. I prefer this over Moon Mario on its own. I feel like that laundry note helps kind of, um, helps me be able to enjoy the American cream in here. Um, I don't know what it is about that scent. It just smells like unscented lotion to me. I don't know. Anyway, this performed well. Um, it smelled great. I would maybe get this again, but I don't know. It takes me so long to get through my Rose Girls mini melter bags that I just, I mean, you can see some of them right here. There's like a whole bin there and then there's another bin down here. And I just, I don't reach for them super often, but I feel like that's because in the old house, Rose Girls didn't perform super well for me. In this house, it's been performing really well. So I don't know. I don't know. I would probably repurchase that scent. Anyway, on to Hayden Row, I melted sea salt. This is probably my favorite scent from Hayden Row. I love Elsa from Hayden Row also, but this is one of my favorite scents from any vendor. It's just so salty. It makes my mouth water. It is like straight up sea salt, like it says. I can't get it open. Okay. Yeah, I've said this before, but this to me smells like, and I can almost taste it in my mouth, but it smells like when you are swimming in the ocean and you get the ocean water up your nose and then it, <laughs> it drains down and you can kind of taste it in your mouth. That's what this smells like to me. 
and I love it. It's so good. I This will always be a repurchase. I cut my little duckies in half so because the scent is very strong. Oh, I can smell it all day. So I cut my duckies in half and then I think I have two souffles up there. Um, so I have plenty, but this will be a repurchase probably every summer, but I feel like I could melt this all year round. I really like to blend this with stuff. Um, I did blend this with something. I can't remember what it was, but when we get to it, I'll mention it. I'm just going to sit that there so I can remember to mention that. Um, but I love, 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 love that scent. Um, and then the last half empty here is from... Oh, this label is very... This label got like saturated in oils. Um, from that Smell Good shop. Yeah, this label's just coming off now. I wonder if something else in here leaked on this, like a Scentsy bar or something, because I don't remember this being... I don't remember this label being like this when I melted it. Um, but anyway, it's from that Smell Good shop. It's Academy of Unseen Arts. Crisp apple and fresh eucalyptus. I might just take that off and stick it in the bag. Yeah, I feel like something leaked on this. I don't think that the oils are coming from in here, in this bag. Yeah, definitely. It was probably a Scentsy bar. Let me just stick that inside there so I know. So I don't lose it. But I love this scent. Did I say what it was? Crisp apple, fresh eucalyptus. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites from That Smell Good Shop. I love eucalyptus and that apple in here just gives it, like it says, a crispness, a like freshness. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> fresh. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. It kind of smells like a green apple to me, but sometimes green apple is a miss for me. This is a definite hit. It's just like crisp apple like it says with that amazing fresh oh, eucalyptus I'm obsessed this is an amazing performer it's so good this will always be a repurchase actually if I don't know I haven't checked that small good shop lately if this comes back in a 12 pack I would probably grab one of those because I kind of hoard that I just hold on to it and never melt it um, I'm surprised I melted it this time but yeah, I need like a larger amount of that one. It's so good. Okay, on to the empties. I'll start with bags. Um, I finished Ooey Gooey Coffee from Britta's. I really like Britta's coffee scents. This one is sugar cookie, butter brickle, caramel pralines, coffee, and espresso. Um, this was just one of the little jacks that she has, which I love because they're the perfect amount for all of my warmers, but it was one little jack, so I stuck it in the tea light warmer. This scent is so good. It performs so well. It says ooey gooey coffee, and it is sweet, but for me, it's not too sweet. Um, I don't know. It just, it smells really good. Her espresso, it's not that like perm solution coffee scent to me. It's definitely like a fresh cup of hot coffee and then you get that butter brickle and the caramel pralines that just make it sweet. But I don't know, maybe for some people this would be super sweet, but I'm pretty like sensitive to super sweet scents and this one isn't too sweet for me. So I don't know. If you're looking for a good coffee scent, this is a really good one. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else about this scent, but I don't know. I can't remember. It's a good one and it performs well. So anyway, um, the next one here from Britta's is Wake Up the Dead. And this is Fruity Pebbles Lemon Meringue Cotton Candy Frosting. So this is from 2020. Um, and I feel like I've melted this up before and I feel like it was super strong and this time it was more of like a medium performer. Um, so I think I maybe held on to this for too long. I mean, it was definitely still present. You could smell it. I melted it all through the upstairs in the bedrooms and bathrooms. You could smell it when you went up there. I just remember it being kind of like pow in your face strong and this time it was just more of like 
Oh yeah, it smells really nice. Um, I don't know if this one specifically would be a repurchase for me. There's so many scents that I love from Brita's that I will repurchase. This one is just, it's not like a standout to me. I don't know. It's good. If you like cereal scents, I would give it a try, but I don't melt a ton of cereal scents. And her Count Chocula is my favorite cereal from any vendor. It's my favorite chocolate, my favorite cereal. It's so good. Um, okay. On to Destination Wax, just one here in vanilla wafers. I can't tell if that's <laughs> in the frame. Okay, vanilla wafers. Uh, buttery vanilla wafer cookies. I can't smell it anymore, but I do really like this scent. I remember I had a sample of it. I melted it in my tea light warmer, and it was so strong and so good, and I was like, oh, I love this. I need more. I got more. And it just wasn't quite as strong for me. This is from April of 21. Um, but I melted it not long after I got it. And it still wasn't very strong. Or it wasn't very strong then. I don't know. It was more of a light medium performer. Like I could smell it. But I had to kind of look for it in the air. Um, but yeah, I like vanilla wafers. I just don't think I need to get it by itself again from Destination Wax. I'll probably just stick to that in like blends and whatever. Um, it's a nice, like I said, I love the scent. It just wasn't super strong. I would have loved it to be like assaulting my nasal passages. Um, okay, the next one is from Super Tarts in Suits. And this is black tie cannabis flowers and blue sugar. I really like this. I put this through the bedrooms and bathrooms. It's so good. I don't know what it is about Super Tarts Blue Sugar. And I think Nicole Perry has touched on this as well. But their blue sugar is just... It's different. I mean, I feel like it can vary with every vendor. But I don't know. I'm just really drawn to Super Tarts Blue Sugar for some reason. It's just so, like, warm but fresh at the same time. I just really like it. Um, the cannabis flowers, this to me doesn't smell like weed. <laughs> so if you're worried about that, I mean, I don't know, maybe to other people it does, but I feel like the cannabis flowers just gives it this kind of like powdery floral, but not like a heavy floral, not like a heady floral or a super offensive floral it's just like slightly there and then you get that masculine like black tie um i melted this because i was deciding if i needed to order more of it in the pre-order that's open right now she has a fresh earthy clean pre-order open right now this is available she also has some new fall scents in there i think it's still open i hope it is i'm pretty sure it said wednesday to wednesday so Wednesday of last week to Wednesday of this week, I hope, because I didn't order yet and there were definitely some things. Fresh, earthy, clean, masculine is my jam, so I need to order. <laughs> and she had some new fall blends in there that just sound amazing. Anyway, Suits is really good. I think I will grab at least a clam of this, maybe two. Um, I don't know that I need a BAM. I don't know and I'm I was gonna say I'm kind of jumping on the Nicole Perry train again mentioning Nicole Perry she prefers the clams I'm pretty sure she only orders clams now um, I do have a bunch of BAMs originally like last year I decided that I wanted to repurchase like find scents that I love from super tarts find my favorite super tarts blends and then purchase those only in pant bags now, <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know if I want all these ant bags. I kind of just want to grab like clams of the scents that I love, like maybe grab two clams at a time because they are easier to store. I feel like I don't get through my BAM bags fast enough. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, I need more suits. At least in a clam. <laughs> Ow. Just 
punched the little stand that I have my empty sitting on. So that felt great. Maybe I should have just waited a little bit to do this. I don't think I'm quite awake yet. Um, anyway, the next one here is from Teddy Bees. Just one from Teddy Bees in Surfside Sweet Shop. And this is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. This is a well-loved scent. Um, for me, I mostly get the beach nights. Her beach treats as beach nights. I mostly get the beach nights. There is a little bit more of a like creamy, cakey kind of note in here. But I mostly get beach nights. I don't know. I don't know if this one specifically will be a repurchase. I have so many Beach Nights blends from Teddy Bees that I love. I love Silent Night. Um, Grand Canaria is now a go-to for me for summer for Beach Nights. Um, so I don't know if I need to specifically get this one again, but it is really nice if you just like all things Beach Nights. This is a good one. It's a good performer. I just don't know that I need to specifically repurchase this one again because she has so many amazing Beach Nights blends. Um, On to L3, I melted Winter Linen Hedonic Tonic. I forget what's in Hedonic Tonic, um, but this was really nice. I melted this yesterday through the living room entryway and back here. I love that Winter Linen note. I have... Um, a few scents with that I think now I just really like that note it's like a really crisp linen note it has this like fuzziness to it though I don't know it's really good I forget what's in hedonic tonic but this was just a very fresh clean crisp laundry scent linen scent um, I really liked it I don't know if I need to repurchase this this was in my collection for a while this was fluted tarts though I really don't like the fluted tarts, although this performed super well. But I have found in other instances that I get much better performance from the bunts than I do from the fluted tarts. Um, but like I said, this performed super well. It was super strong through the living room and through back here, and I did like half a tart in each warmer. Um, oh no. Okay, lost a bag. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I need to specifically repurchase this one again either. I will definitely repurchase blends that have winter, is it winter linen? White linen. Why do I keep saying winter linen? Um, white linen. I will definitely repurchase blends with that oil or note or whatever, um, because I do really like it. It's just so like, such a crisp laundry scent. Um, Okay, on to Rose Girls. I melted and finished lemon cotton candy ice cream cake. Um, I had this in my collection for so long and I hadn't like reached for it because it was super light the first few times I melted it. Um, this time it was strong. I have started putting two of the mini melter pieces in my warmers. First of all, to get through the bags more quickly, and second of all, I feel like I'm getting better performance that way. So I did put two mini melters in each warmer with this scent, and it performed great. I can't smell it at all anymore, but it was really like a lemon cotton candy. I don't know if I got too much like ice cream cake or any kind of ice cream note maybe a little bit of a cake note but mostly it smelled like a lemon cotton candy to me really sweet but the lemon gave it like this tartness too it was nice i wouldn't repurchase just because i had this for so long and wasn't reaching for it um but it was a good blend i'm also finding that cotton candy isn't like my favorite scent note i mean i always knew that but lately it's been even like off-putting to me um like I used to be able to just handle it and like not love it but not hate it and now it's actually kind of like stomach turning to me so I probably won't repurchase that um okay the other one from Rose Girls here is no shirt no shoes no problem um I forget what the notes are in this but I love this scent I would repurchase this one 
so good. It's strong, it's salty. Oh, it's good. It might have, this might have salty mariner in it. I'm not sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I feel like this might have salty mariner in it. And maybe like a sea kelp. It's aquatic, it's salty, it's green. And it's so nice and it's so good. I would definitely repurchase this one for summer. Um, I don't think this is one that I would reach for in like fall and winter maybe not even spring but definitely summer that was really good okay on to K scent and melt I finished this custom of I wished for you too this is cactus and sea salt stargazer lily and tumbleweed and terracotta or tumbleweed and terracotta um, I really like this oh this is the one that I blended with sea salt so I mixed these in the bedrooms and bathrooms and it was so nice um or no just in the bedrooms i had something else in the bathrooms but anyway in the bedrooms i had hayden row sea salt blended with this custom from k and it was so nice this custom cactus and sea salt stargazer lily tumbleweed and terracotta it's very like to me this is just like a fresh air kind of scent. It's very like clean air, like you walk outside at dusk and it's like very clean outside. You, didn't, you know those days when the air just smells clean? That's what this gives me, but it's like dusk, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. This is really nice. Um, and then with that sea salt added in, it was bomb. <laughs> so I would probably repurchase this. Um, it's not one that I need to like immediately go repurchase, but at some point in the future, I would repurchase this one. It was just, it's just so nice. It's, it's strong. It's a strong performer, but just because of what the scent itself is, it's not like in your face like powerhouse it's just wow it smells really nice in here that kind of thing so yeah I really like that I really liked it blended with sea salt and I would probably repurchase that okay I should have brought my water back here um, I'm gonna do some clam shells from K now um, the first one here is jet set Janet and this is Swedish Dream Salt Black Opium and Caress. I did this through the living room and entryway and it was really nice. That Caress gives this like such a bubbly foamy kind of soapy scent. Oh, I really like it. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, and I think that black opium is kind of adding to that. I don't know. This is so well blended. It's the black opium is kind of like pretty, a little powdery, but it, it's really just blending into that caress. And they just make this like magical foamy soapy scent. I don't get a ton of the Swedish Dream Salt in here. It's there, but I don't get a ton of it. Oh, it's so nice. So well blended. I really like the scent. I would probably repurchase this. Like grab a clam of it um, for next summer. It's just, it's really nice. I, I want to melt this in the bathrooms next time I get it because I think I would love it in there. That was like a medium performer. It wasn't like super strong but you could definitely smell it um okay the next one is sunset shores i believe this was danny's blend and this is blood orange kai and boom boom <clears throat> sorry i definitely should have brought my drink back here um this is amazing i'll probably get a k cuts bag of this for next summer this isn't one that i would melt in the fall and winter but definitely next summer I think it just got super bright in here so hopefully that fixes itself in a minute <laughs> but this scent is amazing 
Oh, I love it. You get everything. You get the blood orange and the boom boom. I don't know what Kai smells like on its own, but I can definitely pick up that different oil here. It's so nice. I know that Kai is like a perfume type, um, but this isn't super perfumey. It is like, it does have like a body care feel to it, but that could be from the Boom Boom, obviously. It just smells like summer. It smells like a summer night. Like after you spend all day on the beach and you like go back to the hotel and shower, but you still kind of have that like sunscreen or like tanning lotion scent on you. And then you put on like your, your scented lotions and your perfume and whatever else. And then you like go to the boardwalk and it's dark out and it's humid. That's what this smells like to me. <laughs> it's so good. I will definitely be repurchasing this one for every summer as long as she offers that. Um, the next one from Kay is Cell de Mer. Is that how you say that? Cell de Mer. Um, this is Salty Ocean Breeze, Palm, Orange Peel, Amber, and Musk. So I melted this one day in the kitchen, in the tea light warmer and the ball warmers, and then I also melted it one day in the bathrooms upstairs. And I will say that I really liked it in the bathrooms. This is really salty. This is like salty, definitely that salty ocean breeze. Um, oh, it's so nice. That's mostly what it smells like, like a salty ocean breeze a musky salty ocean breeze it smells so good oh, like fresh and clean and then when I had it in the bathrooms um, like I was in the shower at one point and I kept smelling something that smelled so good and I was trying to remember what I had in and then I remembered that it was this but it almost had like a masculine tone to it when I was in the bathroom um, like when I was in the shower, I kind of was, I was smelling like a little bit of a cologne. And I do kind of get that um, now, but I didn't really get it in the kitchen. I don't know. It definitely, a scent can change depending on the room that you melt it in. Um, but I liked it both places I melted it. I preferred it in the bathroom just because I got that like slight cologne note. But definitely like a salty ocean air cologne. Like if someone had a cologne that was called salty ocean air. I feel like this is what it would smell like. It was really good. I would repurchase that. Or if I don't repurchase it on its own, I would maybe put that into a custom because I do really like that scent. Um, and then the last one from Kay is Outback Mate. Outback Mate. Um, this is a Lush type. This is peppermint, lemongrass, and eucalyptus, I want to say. And normally, ooh, a really big bird just flew over. Um, normally, I am not a fan of lemongrass, but in here, I don't mind it at all. I don't even really pick it up. Like, I can tell it's there, but it's more of just a... There's something in my eye. Um, it's more of just like a slight lemon note rather than lemongrass and then definitely peppermint and eucalyptus this is really nice this is a really nice clean kind of scent I melted this in the kitchen in the tea light warmer the bulb warmers it was pretty strong I would say it was like a medium high in the tea light warmer and then a medium medium in the bulb warmers yeah, really good. It smells really clean. It kind of smells like a perf, not a, per a perfume. Um, it kind of smells like a shampoo. Like I would like a shampoo in this. Um, I don't know if that exists, but yeah, I like this. I would probably get this again, or again, I might try this in a custom because it's really nice and I can see this blending well with something. So yeah, I really like that one. Okay. The next one is from Yummer's Delight in Are You Afraid of the Dark? 
And I looked up the notes for this and I already forget them. If I remember, I'll put them here. Um, I'm pretty sure this has Paulo. I can, I can barely smell it now. Um, but I think this was like a, it might be like a bonfire Paulo autumn leaves kind of scent. I, I really enjoyed it while it was melting. I cut this into thirds, put a piece in the tea light, and then a piece in each of the ball warmers in the kitchen. I remember thinking I need to get more of that. So I really like this one. Um, it was definitely like a fall leaves kind of scent, um, but it wasn't, I don't think it was leaves from Bath and Body Works. I don't know. It was kind of like an overcast day. So I threw this one in and I really, really enjoyed it. And I would like to have more of this for fall. I keep missing her $1 scent shot sales. So I need to pay better attention, but <laughs> I mean, I think her scent shots are worth the regular full price, but obviously if you can get a deal, I'd rather get a deal. Um, but yeah, I definitely want more of that scent. I have one here from Walmart. Um, this is a Better Homes and Gardens scent in crisp fall leaves. I'm pretty sure I melted this the same day, but I put this upstairs in the bedrooms and bathrooms. And I did really enjoy this. This actually threw for like four days. Like I kept thinking I need to change the wax upstairs, but then every time I went up, I could still smell this. Which is weird because I don't melt a ton of Walmart wax just because I've always had this issue where it performs really well and it's super strong for a few hours and then it just smells like melted crayons. Um, but that wasn't the case with this one. This was very, very good. And like I said, it performed for like four days. This is, this again, this isn't like a leaves from Bath and Body Works type scent. It's, this is a little spicier, but I feel like I definitely get that like earthy outdoorsy dried leaves kind of scent, but with spice. It is a really nice scent for fall. Um, I've had this in my collection for quite a while, so I don't know if I would repurchase this just because I don't know how often I will reach for it, but I don't know. Maybe I would grab like a small, like the small clam of it um, because I did really enjoy it. Super good performer. Oh no. Okay. I have to pause for a second because I just threw that one across the room. Okay. Um, so I'm going to end with Scentsy. I just have a few bars here and this might be the one that was leaking everywhere or it could be that one. I don't know why so many of them are gross. Um, this bar is particularly gross, but it is Cafe Cubano from the La Havana collection. Um, that's like so gross. Can you see how icky that is? Um, this is okay. <laughs> this on cold smells like perm solution. It is a coffee scent. I don't know what else is in here. On cold it smells like perm solution. In the warmers it didn't smell like that but I don't know what it smelled like. It was kind of powdery. Um, my mom said it smelled like coffee. To me it didn't smell like coffee. It was kind of nice, but I just don't know what I was smelling. I don't know. If I can find the notes, I'll put them here. It was supposed to be coffee. It was just, I don't know. It was light. I, I didn't like it. Um, okay. The next one is Happy Go Lucky. It's missing its little thing up here, but this is from 2016. I bring back my bar. Um, I don't remember like really loving this one when I first got it. But this time, every time I melted it in the living room entryway, maybe back here. No, I think just in the living room and entryway. And every time I went out there, I was like, it smells really nice in here. It is really nice. Why I didn't like fall in love with the scent originally and stock up on it, I don't know. 
and this has obviously been in my collection for so long and I just kept thinking I don't really like that scent and I never wanted to melt it it was so nice it's a little perfumey it's like warm it's like a deep musky perfumey kind of scent um, again if I can find the notes I'll put them here because I'm interested to actually see what they are because I completely forget this is so pretty if this ever came back I would grab several bars of it possibly even put it in my club I just really really enjoyed the scent and it was such a surprise it performed super well it was strong um, I've mentioned before but I get really good like shelf life out of my Scentsy there are wax on my nose there are some scents from Scentsy that just don't um, last long but I've also said this before the the blue wax blue wax gray wax um, I don't tend to stock up on those sometimes green wax like dark green wax but mostly blue wax and gray wax I don't tend to stock up on those because they seem to just change super quick for some reason um, but most of the other scents that I've had and held on to for years perform super well. So I feel like I get really good shelf life out of Scentsy. That is why I do stock up on some things. That's why I put stuff in my club because I feel like I have years to melt it. Um, like I said, 2016 it is now 2022 and this was a beast performer and smelled amazing. Ugh. It wasn't like a powerhouse, but it was definitely strong. Um, it didn't like blow me out of the house, but it was strong and so, so nice. So happy go lucky. I would definitely get more of that if it ever came back. I melted and this, this is the one that is leaking everywhere. Do I have anything back here? No, <laughs> um, but it's all over my fingers now. Um, vanilla bourbon. is nice it's a little too sweet for me my mom had this in her car in the um pods in her mini fan diffuser and like every time i got in her car for i don't know however long it was in there it might still be in there but it was just so sweet i'm like it is so sweet it smells like sticky sweet in here Ugh. um i didn't mind this as much in the wax in the kitchen but it's not one I'll repurchase. It's a nice scent, but for some reason it's just so sweet to me. I don't know. It's it's okay. It's like a medium performer. I'm gonna just leave that sit there. Just not a favorite of mine. Um, I melted. This is oh the last two here are new releases for the fall winter catalog. So this one is Cranapple Crumble and. I'm gonna do that in every video I guess um, uh, this is nice this to me isn't bakery um, it's foodie I don't know it's in the bakery category this is fruity to me I would have put this in the fruity category it's cranberry apple A tiny tiny little hint of spice in here um, and then maybe like a creaminess like a vanilla cream or maybe even like a caramel creaminess in here I don't get any kind of like crumble whatsoever this is like a fall fruity it smells really good but it's not bakery to me um, it performed well it didn't last super long this is like a one day and done kind of scentsy scent but it smelled nice I'll probably grab another bar of this to try again when it's actually fall um, and try it like in the kitchen this time I put it in the living room just to like get a good sense of it but yeah it was nice it was strong 
but not long lasting. Like I said, I'll probably grab one more clam of it to try and then decide if I need more. Um, and then the last one here is Falling Apples from the new releases. This is nice. This is a woodsy apple, which I love. Um, there's something in here that is like, something in here on cold kind of gets in my throat, but that went away on warm and it was just like a nice woodsy apple. I'll, again, probably grab one more bar of this to try and see if I need more of it, but I do have, there are a lot of apple and woodsy apple scents from Scentsy that I really love. I love Jack's Obsession. That's like one of my favorite apples. I love um, apple and cinnamon stick that has a woodsy note to it. What else is there? I can't, I'm blanking now, but there are several apple scents and especially like woodsy apple scents that I love from Scentsy. And this is different from those, but I just don't know if it's one that I need. I don't know. Like I said, I'll probably grab one more bar to try when it's actually fall um, because that can make all the difference, but I wasn't like oh man, I need a ton more of this right away. But it, it was nice. It was strong. It does smell really good. But if I smell this next to Jack's Obsession, I know I'm going to be like, Jack's Obsession is my favorite. <laughs> because uh, Jack's Obsession is so good. If you didn't see the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, not everything. I don't think everything was available. Pretty much everything though. I think the only thing that didn't, that isn't re-releasing today is the like full-size Jack Skellington warmer. Um, but I think everything else that has been available is re-releasing today. This will probably go up after that re-release happens depending on how long this takes to export and upload and everything. Um, but I did post a video about the stuff that was re-releasing from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection today. Anyway, I'm done with the scents now. Um, and Jack's Obsession is coming back as well as Halloween Town and the Oogie Boogie um, Roll of the Dice scent. So Jack's Obsession will for sure be going into my club. I love that scent. Halloween Town might go in there. I like the Oogie Boogie scent too. I know that was kind of um, like a polarizing scent. I liked it. It was a little strong and offensive on cold, but once I melted it, I was like, this is actually really nice. It is super strong. I put like one cube of that in one bathroom one day and I could smell it through my whole house. Um, and on warm, it's like a very kind of like a masculine body wash kind of scent. Um, I don't know. I really liked it. My phone was ringing, sorry. Um, I don't know if that did anything for you guys, but anyway, I am excited that Jack's Obsession is coming back. I don't know how long it's gonna stick around. You have like 30 days after today to put it into your club, but I don't know if they're gonna bring it back again. I'm kind of worried because the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that is releasing today, like the Warmers and the Buddies and stuff, are like super discounted. They have like these crazy cheap bundles that they're doing. So I'm thinking that those items are not gonna come back. Obviously I have no idea. I don't have like inside scoop, but I feel like if they're discounting them that much, they're probably not gonna come back in a collection at any point. But like I said, I don't know. I would just get your hands on those today if you, been wanting to get your hands on those. Um, I don't know where I was going with this. Anyway, that is re-releasing today. I look forward to that. Um, and then we have the Harvest Collection releasing on September 1st. Looking forward to that. Also, 
Um, yeah, I think that's everything that's coming up like in the immediate future. So I'm excited. We're getting into fall finally. I can't wait. <laughs> Let me know if you're ready for fall, if you're like clinging to summer. It's still very much summer here, but once September 1st hits, I'm in fall mode no matter what. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Let me know what you've been warming and loving or warming and hating. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.